Hello everyone, my name is Ojasi Josi and welcome to my YouTube channel. For those people who don't know me, I am originally from Nepal and I have been living in Canada for the last four and a half years as an international student. I am in my last year of uh, uh, computer science with minor in business and I will be graduating this year so I'm really excited for that. Uh, in this video I'll be talking about uh, eight things that I learned in 2021. I think 2021 especially for me was a very interesting year. Uh, due to COVID-19, my work and classes were online. So I got to live in Nepal for five months. Uh, so it was interesting that I got to live in both the countries and I got to see different perspectives. But in this video, I'll rather than talking about different perspectives, I'll be talking about eight things that I learned in 2021. So let's get started. First thing that I learned in 2021 is I am exactly where I need to be. I noticed this recurring pattern of mine where on one hand I am overwhelmed with work and on the other hand I feel like I'm not doing enough or I'm behind on my goals. But the truth is, like said in the movie Three Idiots, life is not a race and embracing each moment the way it is and being fully present in them firstly gets me more work done and secondly enables me to look ahead rather than dwelling on the past. Uh, the next thing that I learned is the concept of broken mirror by Will Smith. So in a podcast with Jay Setti he talks about how we uh, often seek for others validation for our self-esteem and how sometimes uh, seeking for others uh, validation is like looking in a broken mirror and I think like that really stuck with me like of course I had heard various other concepts of like we should not think about what others think of us but just the thought of someone fixing themselves looking at a broken mirror was really disturbing and I think with that also I kind of feel that any opinion that we have of ourselves and others is also a broken mirror so hence it is very easy to throw judgments at others but the truth is our judgments might not be true and even the judgments that we have for ourselves it might not be true so there is no need of putting ourselves and others in a box. The next thing that I learned is joy is not the only sign of progress. I think this was the hardest to learn because uh, I was doing yoga and meditation regularly throughout the year and anytime I was not feeling happy I was like oh I'm doing everything why am I not happy but uh, eventually I did learn that Joy is not the only sign of progress and positive emotions are not enough. Anger can make us creative, selflessness can make us brave, self-doubt can provide us self-reflection and guilt can be a powerful motivator. Acceptance and wholeness should be given priority rather than happiness and we are human beings and it is really normal to feel different emotions. Instead of fighting negative emotions, I have learned to embrace them. And I think throughout the year, whenever I listened to my negative emotions and made changes in my life, I have grown as a person. The next thing that I learned in 2021 is that the universe has my back. Of course, this is a point that I cannot prove, but I do not mind being delusional on this particular point. Uh, so like I said before, I was in Nepal for five months and during that time I lost my grandfather. Uh, he didn't die of COVID and he was 85 years old and he died without any pain so I do not have any regrets on that. But just knowing that I was there with him in his last days makes me feel extremely grateful. Just one, two hours before he passed away we also had tea together and I know that no matter how many problems life throws at me or whatever happens in future I really don't think I can complain about life being unfair or the universe being unfair towards me even though I do understand that life is not supposed to be fair and maybe it might just be a coincidence that I was there but just the fact that I got to experience that moment 
think I'll always feel like universe and my grandfather particularly has my back. The uh, next thing that I learned is to focus on building healthy habits rather than setting goals. I like to have a very positive outlook in life and this does come at a cost. On a very positive day, I feel like I can conquer the world and then end up setting various goals. With each goal I set, I'm also giving myself an opportunity to fail and due to that, sometime during the end of 2021, I got rid of all my goals and I want to continue focusing on building healthy habits. One thing that 2021 taught me is that you get to define the kind of person you want to be. Before 2021, I used to feel like I lacked discipline, consistency and focus. But in 2021, I proved myself wrong. And moving forward in my life, I want to continue building and maintaining good habits. The next thing that I learned is life is a process, not a journey. And uh, my main responsibility is to make the process better each time. And uh, how do I make the process better? By learning from my mistakes and making sure I do things differently by not being scared of making mistakes. Because if I make mistakes, then I learn from it and then I can improve the process. Even for this video, uh, it was a process to record it. When I went uh, to edit the video, I realized that uh, the audio for two of my uh, things I learned uh, takes uh, wear off. So I'm recording it again by <laughs> wearing the same clothes. I thought everything is done and my process is over. But uh, like you can see, it's still going on. And the truth is even after uploading the video, for some time I feel like I have accomplished something. But then again, my process uh, in life will continue. The next thing that I learned is few techniques on how to let go of negative uh, thoughts that we have for other people. Uh, like I said before, as human beings, it is normal to feel different emotions and sometimes these different emotions can be very mentally draining. Especially if we start thinking negative about other people, then the loop of negativity that keeps on going in our mind and then I kind of find that... Uh, not only to be mentally draining, but also very exhausting. Like it's very, very exhausting. Uh, so last year I met Vike Sivani, my spiritual guru. Uh, of course, he doesn't know me, like, but hopefully one day in life uh, we will get to see each other. But uh, after meeting her, I learned about few very powerful affirmations. And they are, I accept everyone the way they are. Everyone around me are powerful soul and uh, every relationship I have is beautiful. These affirmations and her talks has brought a lot of positivity in my life. Uh, so if you haven't looked at her videos, I highly recommend them. And uh, I think uh, when I was writing down all the points, uh, after writing this point, I felt the most uh, grateful. For a minute or two, I just felt, uh, I just thought of all the amazing people that I've met in my life and the kind of equation I had with them even if I had any like negative equation towards anyone like it, it, it's just at the moment like felt nice like I was like okay that's nice I also had some drama in my life the last thing that I learned is that whenever you overcome any challenges you feel more connected to yourself to be honest I didn't have this point written but just the fact that I completed recording uh, all of this made me feel very happy and very connected with myself and I think in 2021, my relationship also improved with myself because of all the challenges that I was able to accomplish. So whenever there's any challenges in life, just embrace it because after that, you will be closer to yourself. So with that, I'd like to end the video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If there's anything that you've learned in 2021 and if you'd like to share it with me, please write it in the comment section. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.